no, you have to be very thick skin. You have to be prepared to do a load of things that you just don't really want to do. It's but, like that, but to a kind of another level it was in the early 90s in the music business. You was expected to kind of take a lot of crap from people on a regular basis. You had to kind of bite your lip, thick skin, not let anyone get through. And if you could kind of get through that, then people, you kind of built up the respect of those people and it would very easily get you to the next level with those guys. I guess they're just trying to weed out who's who can stay the course and who can't. But I mean, I was always ambitious. I always had a, a plan of where I wanted to be. And I was just determined to see that through. And I've got quite a laid back kind of don't really do too much stress I just kind of see something go for it and don't stress about that too much um so I think my laid back kind of nature and the fact I got on with people enabled me to kind of um get through all those kind of moments but yeah I mean I just loved it and I got on with people and the people enjoyed having me around the studio so you weren't always you know you were a taxi driver you were a t-boy you were just setting stuff up, you were lugging equipment around, you were there till six in the morning sometimes. Sometimes I would finish work after maybe six weeks without a day off. And as I was just put the last mic cable away and just hoovered the studio, the van with the next band would be coming up the drive and it would literally be deep breath, here we go, the next six weeks, no gap in between, no break. Um, but I loved it. I loved that whole thing. It, I didn't care, you know, young, didn't need the sleep. Um, and uh, yeah, I would just, just get on with it and take it in my stride, really.